Hi, Jessica. Um, my question for you is just um, your approach coming into training camp. How do you approach the opportunity of, of having, you know, a training camp contract? And also, um, I don't know if weight is the right word to describe it, but yeah, the, the weight of trying to make a roster that is as deep as this. Yeah, um, like you said, it is an opportunity. And, um, you know, everyone is fighting for a spot. Obviously, the players who are returning are already on the team, but the other people on training camp contracts, you know, everyone's fighting to make the team. And um, you have a tryout every day. You know, you have to bring it. You have to bring the energy. Um, you have to bring confidence and um, just show that you're trying to, you know, make the team. And um, I think it's been going well so far, but when you're coming in, you're playing behind Sloot, um, who's a fantastic point guard um, and coming in at the point guard position, you just want to try to soak up as much as you can um, bring energy. Like I said, every day and actually like enjoy the experience. Um, like you said, it's really hard to make a roster for anybody, you know, on any team. So really soak it all in, enjoy the experience and just be ready to compete every day. Definitely. And um, just a, a follow up to that, you know, uh, Wade talked about this being an opportunity, obviously to, to be with the sky, but then, potentially, um, you know, you, you never know where it leads. So from a mental standpoint, how do you kind of juggle that being present in the moment, but also knowing like, Hey, if it doesn't work out here, like Wade's going to go talk to this coach or that, you know, it, it could end up being an opportunity with another team in the league or potentially a team overseas. So how do you kind of juggle that, that balance, I guess? Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's a lot harder, you know, it's easier said than done. Um, you know, this is like my third training camp. I was supposed to be in Indiana last season but because of COVID, I didn't get to go. So I've had kind of the experience of what it's like to be in training camp and not necessarily make a team. Um, so like you said, like it, it's, it's definitely tough mentally, but when you know that every day is a tryout, not necessarily to make the team maybe this season, but if someone, if there's injuries, if Wade is talking to other people, you know, you're just, you're putting, yourself on display every time you come to practice so I'm um, just trying to stay engaged and really enjoying the experience so that whatever happens you you know you can be happy when you go home at night or whatever so just taking it day by day and trying to perform the best you can each day and then lastly sorry um to take up all your time but um can you speak to the guard the competition at guard right now in training camp I mean um, I think of the eight training camp players, like five are guards. And obviously, um, you know, you're on a team where Sloot's not there yet. Quigley's not yet there yet. But what has competition been like amongst this this group of guards? It's been fun. I would say fun. <laughs> the word. Uh, we've been getting after it for sure. Um, me and Brittany have been mainly the ones. Um, so we've been mainly guarding each other in practice, but I'll still guard Lexi. Sometimes I'm guarding Kai or um, Diamond, but it's it's been fun and it's been, we've been challenging each other, I think, but in a positive way, like we're getting after it. Maybe we knock somebody down, but then we're helping them up. So, um, you know, we're making each other better. And especially, you know, if we're not, if we're not on the starting five, like we're making sure that we're making the starting five better and vice versa. So um, it's been really fun, really good competition and um, we're getting better each day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Am I good? Anna? Okay. Thank you guys. Wait. Wait, one. One more question. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> one more question. Uh, good afternoon. Was that me? Yep, go for it. Good afternoon, Jessica. Uh, it's Chris Pennant from the Next Hoops. Thanks for taking the time. Um, I want to speak more to that guard play, uh, especially I, I want to say um, with you having been a star player at DePaul and hopefully trying to get back to win trust. Um, what are you picking up from these guards um, who are who are in camp? Uh, not only Brittany who's also on the training camp contract, but also Kai and Diamond and, uh, and Candace as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would say like the leadership here has been like phenomenal. Just, um, you know, picking up players constantly, constantly communicating, um, just trying to learn a lot in terms of, you know, different situations, you know, where the point guard should be looking, what kind of play calls we should make it, be making based off who's, you know, the five on the floor. Um, and really just trying to learn um, each day, how can I, you know, help my teammates as best as I can as a point guard? And like you said, with the players you name, like these are, you know, some veteran players. So they've obviously played in the league and stuff like that. So we're just trying to soak it in um, all the time and, you know, trying to play as best as I can with whoever, who's ever on the floor. 